Welcome back to my channel everybody. So today's video is going to be a very, very personal video for me. Excuse me, but I'm going to own up to my mistakes and I'm going to get very personal and explain some shit to you guys. This will be completely raw. I will not be editing this video. I will be cursing. I will be smoking. I will be everything with you guys today. And there is a reason for that. So, um, I'm just going to admit it first off. Let's talk about what happened. Um, on Friday evening, I or Friday evening or Saturday morning, I received a very nasty text from a local area code. It had my area code, so I know it was somebody from my area. And as many of you guys know, I do have a stalker, a very, very severe, severe stalker, um, who has actually left me alone for a while, but unfortunately, um, I'm not sure if it was him who did this or I don't know who, but anyway, let's get to the point. So, cause we have a lot to talk about. I got a nasty text from a phone message and, um, it was a picture of me bent over, um, it was a completely nude photo, you can see absolutely everything from the front to the back to the <laughs> in the position that I was in, you can see everything. You can see my tattoos on this arm, you can see my face, I had longer hair, this was taken way back in January, possibly December or November of 2015, so. They sent the photo by itself, there was no caption, but then finally, because I wouldn't answer, underneath it, they um, said that they will be posting this photo all over Facebook and my channel. Um, if I had, now that I have a new phone and can film, I would insert the text here, but I, like I said, this is a completely raw and unedited video. Unedited video. So. Basically, I didn't respond to any of it. I just let it go. I was like, just fucking let them. I'm, I've had so much hate, man. Like, you guys want to know how bad my stalker ruined my life? Um, he posted a Craigslist ad. If you guys are familiar with Craigslist from where you're from, I know a lot of people who watch my channel are outside of the country. I don't know how far Craigslist extends besides all 50 states, and then I don't know if it extends outside the country, so... One time, somebody posted an ad um, on Craigslist in the personal section, and this is a very personal story for me, but like I said, I'm fucking owning up to everything now. I have nothing to hide anymore. There is one thing that I keep very private in my life, and those that is my children. I'll get into that another time, but um, I just, you know, nobody needs to know about this stuff. That's why I never post it, because it's, like, not relevant to anything. I mean, it's not like I'm ashamed of it. I'm just... It's like, who really wants, who cares? You know, this is an ASMR channel. You guys are my family. You guys are my life. But I'm going to be open with you as many of you are open with me. I hear your stories every single day. I cry with you guys. I laugh with you guys. I fucking everything with you guys, man. So let's just get to the point. Um, my stalker a long time ago, this was about a year and a half ago, posted a Craigslist ad in the personal section saying that I would give head for a ride to the methadone clinic. I've been on methadone maintenance for five years, as many of you guys know. If you're new to hearing this, I was a drug addict growing up. Um, not growing up, maybe from 14 to like 20 or 14 to 19. But in February, it will be six years, six years, which I'm pretty much considered a lifer by now because of how long I've been in the methadone clinic. But what would I rather have? To be clean and be stabilized on a medication or to be, you know, snorting pills and doing everything. So let's, you know, get to the point here. I'm sorry, I know I keep saying that. I'm just trying to explain this in a way that many of you will understand. So a year and a half ago, my stalker, like I said, posted an ad on Craigslist regarding um, me. It had a photo of me. It wasn't a nude photo or anything, but it was, it showed everything, my tattoos, everything. He posted my address and the ad said, if I had a picture, because I saved all of this from years ago, um, the ad said, will suck cock and fuck for a ride to the methadone clinic. Um, it had my address on there. It said, please just show up, no replies, just show up to my house at 6.30 in the morning. Now, where I lived at the time, it's a completely quiet town. Nobody, I mean, people would hear me scream, but nobody would help. Everybody keeps to themselves out there. So, it's 6.30 in the morning, I woke up one day, getting ready to go to the clinic, waiting for my ride. 
I get a knock at the door. I wasn't living with my husband at the time. Him and I were separated, so I was alone. My children weren't at the house. You know, I was alone, so I weigh 116 pounds. I can't fight for shit. I can't fend off old fucking dirty perverted men, so I get a knock. I go downstairs. I'm like literally shaking trying to tell you guys this because I'm just trying to let you guys understand. I walk downstairs. I crack open the door. Now, I thought it might have been my husband coming over, you know, to talk or something like that because he gets up at the same time I do. I open the door in shorts, booty shorts, a tank top like this with no bra on, and there's an old man standing at the front of the door. This man was filthy, okay? It's completely foggy out. Like, it's this fucking dramatic. Like, I open the door and this man's standing there and he's like, are you ready? And he's trying to, he's like trying to get in, but he's not like, do you know what I mean? Like he has his hand on the door, but he's not trying to force his way in, anything like that. I think he was just as nervous as I was and I'll explain why. I mean, there's no justification for what he did, but at the same time, the ad said to just show up at my house and ask for his dick to be sucked. So he's like, are you ready? And I'm like, for what? And he's like you know, aren't we going to do this? Are you ready to go? I'm like, ready to go where? He's like, uh, you're going to the methadone clinic, right? And I'm thinking in my head, like, how did he know that I go to the clinic? And I'm like, well, I have a ride. I'm like, I don't know who you are, sir. And he's like, he's like, well, the Craigslist side you posted. And that's when I found out, like he sat there, he was kind. He wasn't, I was like, hold on. I went back in the house. I locked, I got dressed. I came back outside. He showed me the ad, like he was nice enough to show me the ad. He, you know, explained, you know, everything. He's like, I drove all the way down from Johnstown. He's like, I'm sorry, I was just wondering. Like, I mean, he was very kind, although I don't respect him for even going. Like, he, he didn't know, you know. Anyway, that's how far it went. I could have been raped. I could have been, you know, and this stalker of mine had no shame to put my information out. He had no shame to put my photo out. And that's where I'm getting to now, so... That was just one of the many fucked up things this human being has done to me. And I'm not blaming him for doing this because I'm not sure, but lately there's been other situations, you know, that could possibly render that he's been doing these things to me. So, like I said, Friday, Saturday morning, the night of the giveaway, I got a nasty message saying, with my nude photo and then below saying, you know, I'm posting your pussy pics all over Facebook. I can't wait, you know, to shame you, things like that. So, ugh. my teeth chatter when I get, like, really bad anxiety, so I'm just trying to film this and get it out. Um, so, um, I woke up this morning. Today is Monday. Um, the whole weekend was quiet. That night, I was supposed to do my live stream. Um, a family matter came up. I went to a Halloween party at my husband's little brother's house. <clears throat> Not little, I mean, he's of age, but, um... The live stream was canceled. You know, I explained in my last video why that I'm talking about it now. Fast forward to the weekend, it's Monday now, and I woke up this morning and on my notifications on my new phone, it said Sarah Nicole Dishong Toth posted on your Facebook. Sarah Nicole Dishong Toth posted on your YouTube. Sarah Nicole Dishong Toth posted everywhere. And like I said, if you guys just fucking look up Karina Satori, it will show my name. Like, I can't be ashamed and I can't keep private if I'm going to have over 28,000 people on my channel with over 4 million views. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm, I'm popular. I'm not saying I'm famous. But that's a lot of people to be subscribed to my channel. That's a lot of people who watch my videos. And I'm thankful and caring for each and every one of you. But, I mean, there's only so much that I can hide my name. You know, so my name, you guys, is Sarah Nicole Dishong, okay? That's the first thing he threatened to show. Um, I live in a small town in Pennsylvania, which if you just look it up, you'll find it. Of course, I'm still going to keep that private because it's a small town. Donald Trump just picked the only town in Pennsylvania, which was mine, to come to. So if you look that up, you'll figure out where I live. My address is posted everywhere. I don't see the point. If you're a stalker and you come to my house, stay away from me. Like, just be nice. You know, like, I'll talk to you on Facebook. Just have no ill intentions. I don't even know what to say regarding it because... Like, this person has posted everything about me. He knows where I live. He knows everything, you know? And I'm not scared of him. It's just the... 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's the stress. You know what I mean? It's the added stress I don't need in my life. He's found out things in my life that I haven't even posted online. He's known, he, he's a very good manipulator. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's move on. So I woke up this morning and my nude was, it's only one photo and I'll explain why this photo is out, but it was posted everywhere on my channel. It was posted everywhere on my Facebook. And at first I was like, this is horrible, like everybody's gonna see me naked. But then I remembered my beliefs, which I'm gonna get into. But the reason that that nude, and I don't know how he acquired it, but I guess, you know, some people are good with computers, whatever. I'm a very open person. I am bisexual. My husband knows this. I know this, you know, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. Um, actually, I probably should just be gay, but I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. I want to put this out. Um, sorry. I'm, like, putting it out on the, uh, this, like, homemade ashtray. <laughs> but anyway, um, what was I getting at? I'm very open with my sexuality. It's gotten me in trouble how open I am with speaking to you guys, how open I am in my life. Um, but... So I was involved in a Facebook group that, um, it's just, you basically, it's not like a porn group, it's more along the lines of body appreciation. Guys posted, girls posted, we were a very, very close group of friends. But I guess the situation of the group was maybe it was unlisted rather than private, which means if you figure out the name of it, you can look it up. Um, I don't know. But I did post that nude, and I guess it got taken. I never even seen it after that until to, or until Saturday that it was resent to me. I was like, this this picture's old. Like, how did they find it? That's weird. But anyway, I have to own up to it, and that's what I'm doing here today. So, I I tried deleting it all over my YouTube channel. I tried, but as I was deleting it, more posts came up. As I was, you know going on my Facebook to delete it, more posts came up. Um, it's a fake profile on Facebook. They have the nude as the feature picture. I reported the profile. I'm waiting for it to get shut down. But the reason I'm basically telling all of you guys this is because I don't have time anymore to care about shit like this. I am a human, just like you are a human. Yes, I'm not proud of taking a photo, but I thought it was, you know, private. For who I was taking it for like my husband knew about it you know everybody knows about it. it's nothing like I was keeping from anybody who mattered you know what I mean like I'm not saying you guys don't matter but I'm I'm sure like you guys don't want to like have me get on YouTube and be like hey, you guys want to see my nudes like <laughs> no like I'm not proud of it like that like I'm just I it took me fucking 25 years even after having two children to accept my body I have so many self-esteem issues like physically that, you know, I'm getting over. But the point I'm making with this is I'm flesh, just like your flesh. Females have the same parts. Males have the same parts. Whether it's different sizes or shapes or anything like that, we all have the same thing. So I'm owning up to this in regards to stalker, man, girl, whoever you are, if you're watching this, which I know who it is, I just don't want to say their name because I don't want to, I don't want drama, and at the same time, because it was anonymous, I don't, I can't really say who it was, but I'm owning up to this, and I'm telling you guys, like, there is a nude photo of me going around. If you find it, you find it. Have fun with it. Do whatever. It's just a body, you know? I'm just a body. Like, I'm not different from any of you, you're not different from me, you're not better than me, and I'm not better than you. We're all on this earth, on this big huge amusement park earth, like, just trying to deal with everything and live life the way we are. Like, I don't have time to worry about a nude photo of me. Um, like I said, if you do research, you can find out where I live, you can find out my full name. I have nothing to hide anymore. Do you know what I mean? And I'm going to make sure to put in this description, since this is, like, not an ASMR video at all, <laughs> that, you know, I'm just over it. And I, I've i made mistakes, and I'm very open. I will never stop being open, because I think openness results in comfortness after a while. Like, I know that there's boundaries with people. I can't just go up to somebody, and but 
I'm all, I'm a good listener. Like I listen to everybody. Do you know what I mean? And I don't see the need in life these days to be closed up. I you know privacy is one thing. Being what's the word like? I don't know how to explain it other than like I'm open for a reason. I'm this way for a reason. And like I love you guys so much. And I feel that you know like I said. I need to justify what is going on in case, you know, because I've already gotten like 30 messages this morning, excuse me, from my YouTube channel and from Facebook and I just, like I have to own up to it. So there's a nude photo of me going around and I think there's like three more of me, but they're not being shown around yet. I mean, I'm not going to put it past the person if they acquired it to put it everywhere. Um, I go to the methadone clinic. I'm not ashamed of that, you know. There's a lot of personal things in my life that I don't feel like I need to justify because I'm going through that right now and I'm fixing those mistakes that I made, but I'm making this video one time to let you guys know I don't fucking have time because I know he's, he's or she is going to be watching this. He watches everything in my life and I'm letting you know, like, this isn't going to put me down. Like, my anxiety's up right now because... He just gets so many messages over a photo, and in my head I'm thinking like, yeah, I put out a photo, I, sh I shouldn't have done that, whatever, but it took me a long time to accept my body, and here it is, you know? I'm accepting it, and accepting the fact that I made the mistake of, made the mistake of posting a photo on a public forum that I thought was a closed group, and it's not, and now people have the nude. Big fucking whoop. I have a body. Just like you have a body, I bleed the same way you bleed, and that's so cliche to say, you know, so cheesy, like, oh, you know, but no. If you really sit down and you think about it, we're a bag of fucking flesh. That's not what defines us. Our personality defines us. Our heart defines us. The way we treat others, the way we treat animals is what defines us. You know what I mean? Like, we're all different, but in the, in the end, like, we are kind of all the same. We feel the same pain, maybe in different levels, but we bleed the same. Do you, do you fucking get it? If you have any compassion or humbleness, stalker person, because <laughs> I'm talking to all you guys, but I'm also talking, you know, to the main person, because I know he's going to be watching it's a she. You get it. Um, that's not what defines us. My nude doesn't make me who I am. My past does not make me who I am. It can give you an idea of the things I've done in the past. Obviously, that's why they fucking call it the past, but I am Sarah Nicole Dishon. I am me. I'm very open. I get myself into trouble often. I choose to learn the hard way. But at the end of the day, I know who I am inside and I am a loving, caring, humble, compassionate human being who has so fucking much love to give to all you guys. And I'm not always on time with my videos. I'm not always on time with a lot of things. I don't keep my word all the time regarding like requests of videos and things like that. But. I would give you the shirt off my back if you needed it. Like, I would do these things. But I also, you know, have my negative things. So, we all do. So, if you see the nude, anybody, I'm talking to everyone now, like, have a ball. Like, <laughs> it's not even a good picture. Like, I hate it. But what can I do? So, I'm owning up to it. That's it, you guys. Um, I love you guys so, so much. And no need to message me. I already know. Sarah Nicole Dishong is my name. I am 25 years old from the state of Pennsylvania. And I have a nude going around. I have a body. Big fucking whoop. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.